Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to reciprocity theorem and uh, this is the fourth question related to it. So again, we have our two circuits and uh, the only difference between them is that the position of the voltage source is shifted, 18 volt voltage source. So here in the first figure, the 18 volt voltage source is present in the first branch. Here in the second figure, it is present in the second branch, okay? So here, in order to prove uh, reciprocity theorem, we have to determine the branch currents, this We have to find out then this branch current we have to find out and if both of them are equal then reciprocity theorem is valid. So <clears throat> so far we have used nodal analysis approach so now let us solve it using the equivalent resistance approach because it is very simple uh, we can uh, find out very quickly. So. 18 volt 4 ohm 6 ohm then we have 1 ohm and 2 ohm This is 18 volt. Okay, so we have to determine this current. Let's say this is I1, this is I2, and this current is I. So first we have to determine the equivalent resistance with respect to this 18 volt voltage source. So here the equivalent resistance will be 1 and 2 there in series their resultant is in parallel with 6 ohm and that is in series with 4 ohm so this is the equivalent resistance so this is 3 parallel 6 which is 18 by 9 which is 2 ohm 2 plus 4 is 6 6 ohm so current i is equal to 18 volt by R equivalent which is 18 by 6 which is equal to 3 ampere I equals to 3 ampere then in order to determine I1 we have to apply current division rule here I1 is equal to I into 3 by 9 okay so I into 3 by 9 as per current division rule which is equal to 3, 3 by 9, so it is 1 ampere. So this current I1 is equal to 1 ampere. So why we are interested in this current flowing through the 6 ohm resistor because in the second figure the 18 volt voltage source is shifted to the second branch, the 6 ohm branch. Okay, so I1 is equal to 1 ampere with respect to the first figure. Now let us do it with respect to the second figure. So we, again we have to redraw the circuit. So it will be 4 ohm, 6 ohm. 18 volt then 1 ohm 2 ohm so let us assign currents let's say the current flowing here is 
i dash here it is let's say i1 dash here it is i2 dash we are particularly interested in finding out i1 dash so again the equivalent resistance approach with respect to the 18 volt voltage source present in the second branch the equivalent resistance is 4 ohm and this 2 plus 1 ohm these this combination is in parallel so it is 4 parallel with 2 plus 1 and the resultant is in series with 6 ohm this 6 ohm so it will be 4 parallel 3 plus 6 4 parallel 3 is uh, so total is coming around 7.71428 well okay 7.71 that much is enough okay 7.714 ohm okay now i dash is equal to 18 volt by r equivalent which is 18 by 7.714 which is equal to 2.33 ampere okay i dash is 2.33 ampere now we are interested in finding out i1 dash so i1 dash again application of current division rule it is i dash multiplied with 1 ohm plus 2 ohm that is 3 ohm by the total the 3 plus 4 that is 7 which is equal to 2.33 into 3 by 7 so it is coming around 1 ampere yes Yes, it is also evident from here. 2.33 when multiplied with 3, it is 6.99, which is equal to 7. 7 by 7 is equal to 1 ampere. So I1 dash also here, it is equal to 1 ampere. So see, in the first figure, I1, this current flowing through the 6 ohm uh, resistor branch, we calculated it as 1 ampere. Here, the 18 volt voltage source was present in the first branch the 4 ohm branch now when the 18 volt voltage source is shifted to the second branch the 6 ohm branch the current flowing through the first branch the 4 ohm branch is also 1 ampere which was previously flowing through the 6 ohm branch where it is shifted so it means these two currents are equal and the reciprocity theorem is valid here Okay, so this is the fourth question related to reciprocity theorem which we have discussed here.